This will be a quick tour of my G0704 CNC conversion. About four weeks ago it was completely manual and I decided to purchase the Haas plans and go a little bit beyond and go with a, a similar style flood cabinet. I actually ended up building the flood cabinet out of wood and fiberglass thing on the inside. Uh, I used a tile paint which is an epoxy, a two-part epoxy so it would be much more resistant to chips and coolant um, it seems to be working out pretty well I haven't really done very much with it other than initial testing and some small test cuts with it uh, I did end up getting a uh, Lexan um, front window and as you can kind of see that the sides are completely all the way through my intention is I will get some type of industrial curtain uh, to kind of cover them up at least to be able to keep the coolant and the chips from coming out um, however my initial thought of leaving these open is so I can keep a larger part or put a larger part in there if I need to and then also specifically with this mill uh, I wanted to do keep a really small footprint I end up using a small ITX computer and mounting the controls on the side uh, <clears throat> with my cabinet I did wire in lights um, I have some cheap 12 volt waterproof lights uh, that I ended up getting off of eBay. If they end up burning out, I'm only out four bucks, so I'm not really too worried about it. You can't really tell by the lighting on this, but it actually kind of looks like a club or uh, <clears throat> almost like a blue tint to it. Uh, since the uh, LEDs are meant for, I guess, street cars, uh, that's just the shade of or the, the Kelvin that they generate. I do also have flood coolant, and all my flood coolant is plumbed into the inside of the cabinet. Uh, I originally used Haas's recommendation for uh, the bucket, but I guess there might be uh, something a little bit different with the shelf height with mine than his, because the one that I got, even though I cut it down, it wouldn't be able to fit nor uh, have a lid on it. And I kind of wanted to keep a lid on it because there's a lot of humidity in this garage, and I didn't particularly want... Uh, any type of steel inside this cabinet getting rusted up if I decided to use it. So this kit, this is the uh, bucket that I ended up getting. Um, I bought it from like ContainerStore.com. I think it was like twenty or thirty bucks or something like that. It does the job. Uh, it fits up all the way to the back side of the mill. It does leave a little bit of gap in case I want to put something else. I did use Haas's tsunami pump, and it actually works pretty well for the flood coolant. Um, right now I have the flood coolant plumbed to the back side of the mill. I'll eventually end up getting some type of uh, flex tubing that go off of the z-axis, but I'll have to create some type of a mount to go on the tube. <clears throat> um, and I did double plumb it just in case I want to be able to do uh, more of a manifold or something a little bit different. Uh, that's all that I could really think of right now. Oh. I also have my wiring. Um, all my wiring is built out of a 12 by 12 by 6 box. I end up putting a 5 volt fan off of it to draw heat. Uh, the same 5 volt fan, the 5 volt power supply has enough amps to uh, do the, or power the C10 control board as well as the fan since they're both low, low voltage, uh, low amp draw. I wouldn't say low voltage, they're all 5 volts. And these package that I end up using uh, for, or I wouldn't say package, but I, I bought them all individually, is uh, the NEMA 23's, the basic Haas CNC, which is plenty enough to power this mill. This is a 12 volt, uh, 5 amp power supply to power the coolant pump and as well as the lights. Uh, I would not go for the uh, two and a half amp. The four dollar ones off of eBay because uh, I ended up getting one and ended up toasting it off of just the lights and the coolant running at the same time. So I ended up get, getting something a little bit more, a little bit more draw or ability to, to draw more off of it. Um, also, this pendant I ended up picking up off of eBay. Uh, this is the wireless. I've had a lot of people that I spoke with be concerned about the wireless pendant. Uh, taken off on you, uh, especially since it's a Chinese one, but it doesn't really work like that. It actually, uh, if you, if it does not communicate to the Bluetooth device, 
the Bluetooth device will just not be able to register the steps for the pulse or register the pulse and <clears throat> so it just pretty much won't move and <clears throat> you just continue on uh, doing it if you get further away uh, if you get further away from the mill it will lose communication but it won't break anything or it won't break communication to it so it works just good uh, as long as you're standing around it um, I'm probably about six or seven feet away and I still get communication with it so I don't see any particular issue it doesn't it isn't finicky it's pretty on spot and it's really nice to have uh, that's all I can think of right now um, also I did want to mention that I don't have uh, the coolant nor the motor spindle control hooked up to mock yet uh, that might be something I might do in the future I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to go about on that yet um, well, I guess that sums it up Thank you.